space, the infinite dwelling place of planets and worlds, full of alien cultures and commerce, the setting for those financially secure enough to enjoy the endless adventures it has to offer. It's not for everyone. It's what the rest of us can only dream about in augmented dreams. What we have are the great dome-shaped space docks housing immense space vessels. No, all we can dream about is an opening, a vacancy, to one day be the intelligent life form to inhabit the confinement capsule next to the control center of an intergalactic freighter. And perhaps between cryogenic suspensions to be woken up when the vessel goes off course or some situation arises that the machine cannot handle. Of course, at such time we can stay awake as long as we like to experience the feeling of being aboard a space vessel which belongs to one of the more successful intergalactic trading corporations and watching the stars float by on a 3D visual unit. Alone in a metal hulk in the middle of nowhere without another living organism for light years around. Light years. No one but you. But before the great sense of dread overwhelms and changes fear to cosmophobia, the fear of space, it is best to crawl back to your cryogenic compartment before more of your brief lifetime is used up. Life is suspended in this capsule. In your pod, strange synthetic dreams plague the mind. Augmentations cost credits that we never seem to have enough of. There have always been the haves and the have-nots. That never changes. Yet, some of us, called dreamers, sit and watch the stars go by on the visual unit and wonder which of these worlds we pass houses life. Most only house death. Us organic life forms are so vulnerable, pain, viruses, disease, disability, deformity. Our minds also vulnerable to depression, envy, greed, hatred, prejudice. But we have medicine and we have optimism. So we will go on surviving any way we can, helping the machine in space. <laughs>